Right, hey everyone, I'm Clue. Welcome back to some more Fab Showcases. So, along with doing decks, I thought we'd move into just unique card combos, right? So of course we have the Gorn in a Flash card combo using Blastoil Oblivion, Electromagnetic Somersault, and since we're Oslo, Sigil of Brilliance, which to me is by far the best one to target with it, but you can loop uh, a fixed amount of times, right? So for instance, since we're using red Electromagnetic Somersaults, we can have three copies of our deck, so we can loop this this combo three times. Now, I do want to also say that I hope this is the, the height of combo timing or interaction timing, right, for, for Fab, because some of these cards are definitely a brain scratcher when you read them at first, right? So go on a flash. When this stacks, next time you play an instant card, this chain link may return this to its own hands. So the ideal step to utilize this effect is on the damage resolution phase, right? So after you have it on the active chain link, after it deals damage, but before you move on to the next chain link. But then for Electromagnetic Somersault, we have choose up to two attack action cards with cost zero or more on the active chain link, meaning you have to play this before the damage resolution step in order to target whatever is the current chain link, right? Hopefully that makes sense, but we'll, we'll go through it as we show it off. So Lightning Greaves is the big factor here since Blast to Oblivion and Gone Flash don't have action points. But since we have Blossom of Spring, we can use it nice and easily. We only have four cards in hand, right? So we don't even need the Arsenal slot for this type of combo. But there we go, Lightning Greaves are now active. So what we can do is go Gone and Flash, which of course will drain our action points. And then again, once it's resolving its damage, then we can play Sigil of Brilliance, and that will allow us to return Gorn and Flash to our hand. And another way to think of this as well, in terms of other combos, is this is, in a sense, an attack that generates one resource, right? Because you're returning to hand, you don't have to play it again unless you have some way to generate the action points. But, you know, if you're going to throw this out, throw out a Sigil, and then go into a bigger attack, an attack that costs one, well, that's kind of perfect, right? So, then we put our Sigil of Brilliance into play. It's worth noting, also as Oslo, right? We have both of our AMP pieces. So for instance, the amount of lightning cards we play, and then also the amount of sigils that leave the arena, right? So all of them could come into play and, you know, could lead to again, whatever our one cost finisher or two cost finisher is. But with that chain link done, then we can play Blast to Oblivion. Now, again, we have to play Electromagnetic Somersault before this chain link resolves so that we can target Blast to Oblivion. So we play it, we target Sigil Brilliance from Blast to Oblivion's effects, and then as Electromagnetic Somersault resolves, we can target Blast to Oblivion. We will also return Blast to Oblivion to our hand. And as you can see, we also drew another Electromagnetic Somersault thanks to the Sigil of Brilliance. So there we go. Two chain links down and still a uh, full hand, already pressured, eight damage, right? And again, we just continue amping it up. So again, go on to Flash, followed by a Sigil of Brilliance once the damage has resolved. And then we can return Gorn in a flash. And of course, let resolve. Then again, play Blast to Oblivion. As it's on the chain link, use Electromagnetic Somersaults. It will return the sigil. We'll get to draw one more card. And then we will also get Blast to Oblivion back at the end of the step. Unless, of course, I have mistimed it again because it wasn't on the active chain link. Yeah, this is this type of interaction that is significantly better in person, right? So. Let that resolve. No, I still miss the timing. Yeah, yeah. We got the first chain to work. Again, this, I mean, it, it speaks to Wizard in the timing sense, but it is a head scratcher, right? But again, we can loop this as many times as we have the Electromagnetic Somersault. Uh, this is still the resolution step, so technically, isn't this the active chain? We'll see if it works now. No, so it still won't, or oh, maybe? No, it still won't let us target because we're, we're ending the chain. Yeah, yeah. Regardless, there we go. That's the combo in a nutshell. And again, we could throw in the Aether Bindings of Third Age, or we'd, we could throw in Volzar the Lightning Rod, and then again, have that other feature. Now, of course, I've rigged the deck so that we continue to draw into Electromagnetic Somersaults, but still, right? Going Flash in itself and the value that you can get out of it, again, with Lightning Greaves or even without Lightning Greaves, there's many other ways in both Rune Blade and Wizard to generate action points. You can throw out a four, right? Pressure some physical damage as both these classes and then return to hand and use it as a pitchable, right? So it's, it's a high value card. You then throw in, again, in the case of Oslo, the Sigil of Brilliance, right? Or if you're Rune Blade, probably the Embodiment of Lightning for the go agains, or you could try the Arknight if you take a very attack heavy deck and loop it once, loop it twice and end up pressuring a lot of damage. 
Anyway, we'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed.